Stefan Bell. Martin. Lee Jae Sung. And possession given away. Well, a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come. Possession lost. Can he put them ahead? Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. The opening goal of the game, then. Ismail Assar. Roberto Firmino. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Can he make it count? Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, a second goal for them here. Half an hour remaining, then. Alfonso Davies. Gennaro Gattuso. Frank Ribéry. Diogo Jota. Ribéry. there for him and he scored not once but twice they simply cannot stop him and no wonder he's enjoying himself well here it is a striker's bread and butter simple finish but it's the positioning that gets him the goal three goals without reply Defending, but brilliant defending. Getting in there to take it away. Nikola Milenkovic. Diogo Jota. PSG couldn't keep it. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Gennaro Gattuso. Alfonso Davies. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Lota Mateus. Mateus, can he do it? Is it going to be? Wonderful block. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Losing possession a bit easily. And there it is, the final whistle. And it's a victory for the home side. They're going to be happy with this result, Lee. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Ismail Assar. 
Roberto Firmino. Diogo Jota. Chance to finish. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball. Ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Robert Glatzel. Kittel. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Can he take advantage? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. It's going their way. 2-0. Mateus in the possession. Is this the moment? Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they could add. Roberto Firmino. Diogo Jota. Jota. No possibilities inside the box. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. That's it. Diogo Jota. Oh, big opportunity. Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, just look at this, they all back off him and he takes the advantage, he goes through one, two, three, in the end it's a wonderful solo goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Substitution it is for PSG. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Well, no card, but I think he can consider himself suitably warned. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Couldn't keep it. And a good-looking pass. Unable to keep the ball that time. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Race. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun and have a lovely attacking style about them.
Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender Lee Dixon. And every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Werder Bremen. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. Can he take advantage? Can he convert? It's gone in. A goal for PSG beyond the goalkeeper to square things up. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. Even Steven won a piece in this match. Bit and courts. Might take the lead. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. The first half here comes to an end. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Very well read by Lothar Mateus to win it back. Dominic Coa, Diogo Jota, Roberto Firmino. Oh, they couldn't keep it. Romano Schmidt. Anthony York. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Gross. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Diogo Jota. Frog Ribéry. Giving it a try. Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. And so, back playing again. PSG with the lead. Belkovic. by PSG Christian Gross great strong tackle throw in forthcoming we're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong, just past the post. Hey, come on. Excellent use of the ball as they... A glorious chance! That is a tackle and a half. Phil Krug. Marvin Dux. Can they get in behind them? Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Unable to keep the ball. Well, they weren't so hard here to be in front, and that's been recognised by the supporters. They just need to hold on a bit longer to see this out. Play. He didn't panic, did it? 
Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike really, but it's in the back of the net. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. And only two minutes remaining here. There will be one minute added on at the end. Roberto Firmino, Roberto Firmino! Almost his second goal of this match. But the goalkeeper had his own views on that subject. Well, he'd be looking for a brace, the striker, not to be on that occasion. Romano Schmidt. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Yeah, their two-goal advantage in the end was just reward for their good play today for me. Worthy winners. Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon and every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. I can't wait for this, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here, really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end-to-end. -end. We could get goals today, Derek. Ribéry. Mateus, and the Parisians have lost possession. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Lukas Hörda, Eggestein. Will it be? Well, he'll be irked with himself, ran into an offside position. Dominic Tor. Do they mean business? Now this could really lift spirits. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Roberto Firmino. Chance to finish. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. Well, a glut of goals, two apiece. of his opponents still on level terms moving the ball nicely the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out a delicious piece of skill plenty see your players waiting in the middle can they forge ahead Got to it easily the keeper The whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Taking it away. Now they've lost the ball. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given.
serious miscue in terms of the strike. Easy for the keeper. Oh, he won't have an easier shot to say today. That was really awful finishing from the attacker. Over the touch line for a throw in. Günther, Nicolas Höfner, Eggestein, Lienhardt, and we're inside the final 30 minutes, untidy on the ball, clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Mario Götze, Diogo Jota, Roberto Firmino, Ribéry, you can sense the threat is there, great opportunity, the goal scored by Lato Matthias. Well, just look at this, they all back off him and he takes the advantage, he goes through one, two, three, in the end it's a wonderful solo goal. You can't really say defences are on top, three, two. looking attack and a very good challenge Ribéry oh. well, PSG doing well to regain control of the ball Roberto Firmino from Ribéry well, couldn't keep it. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game, but can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Grifo. Gunter. Stoichkov. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. So, two minutes to be added on at the end. Well, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. And just like that, they've lost possession. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces, Lee. Well, wins like that when there's nothing between the sides seem more valuable somehow. Really tight game, that was.
Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon and everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus the Netherlands. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excitement, come on, let's see some entertainment. Franck Ribéry, Diogo Jota, Mario Götze, could it be Mario Götze? But untidy, Götze. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Frog Ribéry. And he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Untidy in possession. They couldn't maintain possession. And a free kick awarded by the referee. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Now, let's see what they can do here. Not showing good patience. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge, and blows for a free kick. Mateus. Dominic Coa. Mario Götze. Diogo Jota, Raxler, Raxler, crossing possibilities, perfect tackle, foul there, free kick awarded, Frog Ribéry, Mateus. Draxler. Is it going to be Draxler? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort. Solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. So there we have it. 2-1. Defending, but brilliant defending. Mario Goodson. Frog Ribéry. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Clears it away. And he takes on the shot. Well, it's good build-up, and there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. Well, as the game has restarted, we're left to reflect on four goals, 2-2. Two -two. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Still passing it around with authority. Are well, they going to forge ahead? Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? They begin there to intercept. The bar. Classic.
Jesus Navas. Draxler. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. Opportunity. Closing down well. No degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. This could be it! An important challenge, but they must remain organised. The goalkeeper was called upon, and they still have an opportunity here. Well, as a goal down, all you've got to do is give your strikers a chance to get back in the game. No doubt they'll be disappointed, no points gained today, and that will hurt a little bit. I think the manager knows they weren't quite right today. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus the Netherlands. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Diogo Jota. Now, what can Paris Saint Germain do from this position? The advantage is with PSG. Chance to make a game of it here. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. The corner kicks keep on coming. No keeper will mind that sort of corner. And Paris Saint-Germain with the ball again. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Virgil van Dijk with the block. And a no-nonsense clearance. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Dumfries. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw in. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Could reduce the deficit. to do defensively well, they couldn't keep possession the keeper's done his best but there's nothing he can do from there he's not going to miss that one well sadly we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this Mario Götze Frankie de Jong Klassen Raxler. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Virgil van Dijk. 
Klassen. Gakpo. And players waiting in the centre. Well, he's lost the ball. Couldn't keep it. Well timed tackle. Diogo Jota. Braxler. It could have been Mario Götze. Götze. The finish. A good one from Mario Götze. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box, and he's never going to miss that. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Mateus. And it might be. And foiled by Van Dijk. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Gakpo. What's your back? Klassen. Is it going to be? And fine work from Paris Saint-Germain to win the ball back. We have entered... And that will be all for this game. The final whistle has sounded, and it's a defeat for PSG. Lee, your thoughts? Yeah, they were well off their usual standards today, and with the quality they've got in their squad... Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And every expectation that this will be a captivating contest. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus the Netherlands. Could pull one back here. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Corner given to PSG. to reduce the arrears it's got to be tremendous block Mateus wonderful piece of tackling Virgil van Dijk giving the ball away It might be. And the challenge, crisp and clean. The ball back with PSG now. Oh, left his man behind here. Shot attempted. How on earth did they go? And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Could play it in. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Dominic Coa. Ribéry, Mario Götze, 
Chance to cross. Could reduce the deficit. And followed by Van Dijk. And clears the danger. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, all yes from a direct free kick is make the keeper work. He's working now, he's picking it out of the net. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. Klassen, Frankie de Jong. It's a big foul. Great opportunity. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Well, I'll tell you what, that didn't miss by much. Lota Mateus. Mario Götze. And PSG pushing forward with options available. Goalkeeping of the very high. And a goal! A significant deflection. And no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the sky in disbelief. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. 15 minutes remaining. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. There's opportunity. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum. De Jong, Wijnaldum, Klassen, Frankie De Jong, Jorginho Wijnaldum, Koeman, the ball winner, the referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order, Mario Götze, chance for Götze, and that is that, the final whistle, the big headline here.